I said Malcolm alleged that uh, uh, some of Elijah's women were underage secretaries. And can you expound on that? Yeah, well, I guess they were because they were there. I seen them. I seen them myself. So true. So true. Good evening, messenger. You convinced us that you were the last messenger. How many other bastard children do you have? Uh, we'll never know, but at least 15 to count. But anyways, man, Barbershop Conversations, man. That's the trailer of the award-winning film, man. We done whew, 20, 30 film festivals, man. We done, we done been entered and been finalists in many of them. Uh, feel free to click the link below and go watch Nine Wives. It's a short film that you will thoroughly enjoy uh, or thoroughly hate, you know, but you will have an opinion about it. And uh, so I want to talk about something, man. And th this is just, let's just keep a buck a buck. What has Wesley Muhammad done in, done in the community? I've never seen him give away a backpack. I've never seen him uh, give a turkey away. I, he has no value to the community. He has a fake uh he has a fake perception of intelligence i'm not calling him unintelligent but he just wants you to steer in that in that direction because they talk in that farrakhan diction and and he got books behind him he's perceived to be intelligent no all he does is filibus he's sitting here saying the nation didn't kill malcolm x when the killers Admitted he was a member of the nation as I'm go watch the Gene Noble interview, y'all. Y'all, you're working too hard. You don't have to work that hard. It's so obvious, man. And uh uh, but it's it's just sad that we rather believe a be comfortable with a lie than be uncomfortable with the truth. Wesley Muhammad adds no value. I've never seen him on the corner uh uh helping out a young man. I've never seen him, I've never seen it. I've never heard anybody say Wesley Muhammad had a great impact. It's all a front, man. It's all a front. And to top it off, man, see, I'm not one, as I've grown into this position, I'm not one that believes in the pro-blackness, the, uh, uh, the white person is the devil. But if the white man is the devil so bad, Mr. Muhammad, why do you work for a white man? Why, do you, why are you a professor at a, at a white college, at a white institution. Why are you not working with Farrakhan at the University of Islam? Oh, he can't afford to pay you a salary. Oh, I get it. I get it. It's all a fraud, man. It's all a front. Stop falling for this. He's just sitting there filibusting when the evidence is there. The evidence is actually there, man. And, and it's, it's, it's just, go watch Nine Wives, man. I'm just encouraging y'all, go watch Nine Wives, man. Because at the end of the day, um, I think that uh, we are in a we are in a space of information where information is literally readily at our hands. We don't have to go to the library no more. We don't have to we don't have to wait for the government to send us the information. It's literally all online, and many of it is in book form now. Elijah Muhammad manipulated and used those men in the Nation of Islam as well as those women to live out his best life okay he was on that yolo you only live he was on that yolo you only live once and he used them they he used farrakhan he used and and now they just filibustering and living a lie who's the other guy uh rizza islam he's on trial for for felony for robbing black people him and his mom and his stepdad <laughs> like Come on, man. Let's just put this in, in, in perspective, man. The Nation of Islam does not create an economy. It does not push an economy forward as a whole. If it did, you wouldn't have him working at it, working at a white man's college, and you wouldn't have Riza Islam and his family through via the Church of Scientology. And that's a whole nother topic, you know, uh, uh, funneling money through the Church of Scientology to the Nation of Islam. You got Tony Muhammad taking pictures. You got Farrakhan taking pictures. Come on, man. It's just too much. It's just too much. 
And if the white man is a devil, why are you doing so much business with the government? You have government contracts. You, you're getting money from the Church of Scientology. Wesley Muhammad works for a white school. Riza Islam uh, and his family are, are on trial. They're not convicted, but they're on trial for st stealing $3.8 million from the white man and using black people to get it. So let's just put it in perspective, man. Let's just move forward. And uh, and that's where we're at, man. The Nation of Islam killed Malcolm X, y'all. That's it. That's it. Did, did they have instigators? Yes. And that's it. All right. Did the government want? Yeah, it's true. But so did Elijah Muhammad. Elijah Muhammad wanted him out because he wanted to protect. Those were hoes, man. Do you understand that? Those weren't women. Those weren't his wives because he hit them. How the hell you tell your wife to come stand here and you get kicked out of the nation of Islam and no one knows I no one knows I'm the father and or has sex with you? Man, it's all a bunch of charades, man. Barbershop conversations, man. Click the link below. Nine Wives is an extraordinary film, award-winning film. But what has Wesley Muhammad done in the community? You could check my you could check my facts. You can Google me, do what you need to do. I've I've been I'm in the trenches. You know what I mean? But this man is taking money from a white college. And then coming online and saying the white man's a devil. Man, give me a fucking, give me a break, man. He's not even independent. Didn't, didn't, didn't Elijah Muhammad say do for self? How the hell are you a 40, 50 year old man and you can't do for self? You're getting a check from what San Francisco State or whatever it is. Anyways, barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to subscribe, but it's all a fraud, man. Go watch Nine Wise, man. Peace. And, and I want to talk about this man because I think. He's a propaganda spreader. I, be, I believe I know him to be a liar. He called Malcolm X gay. <laughs> he said the nation of Islam cured him of being gay. Uh, he's lied on what happened with uh, Malcolm X. And he said milk cures you when milk is a cancer carcinogen. He said milk is the milk food of the gods. <laughs> Come on, man. He sides with his uh, his fellow comrade that uh, whole raw milk cures AIDS. <laughs> you can't make this up, dog. All this is true, man, with a simple Google search, man. But go click the link and watch Nine Wives. And I want to share something with you guys. And 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 I I wanted to make it make sense, man. You know what I mean? Um, let's see where are we at. Yeah, here it is right here. Here it is right here. So Wesley Muhammad posted on his Instagram. You guys can read his bio if you like. He says, I thank the Honorable Minister Farrakhan for granting me permission to return to the place I love, the classroom. And so on and so on and so forth. Louis Farrakhan gave him permission to go work at a white college. And you guys say, why is that important? Okay. Well, let's listen to what the teacher that they, uh, the teacher that they say runs their program, right? Here it is right here. Let's share it. Elijah Muhammad the man who had 15 kids outside of his marriage and they call it nine wives and, and by the own son admissions, they hid it from the nation of Islam for years. Anyways, let's play this dog. Listen to your teacher, your leader. Separation are death. We don't want no integration. We want separation. Separation or death. We don't want integration. We want separation. So what he's saying is Louis Farrakhan should have told him, you know what? We need to build, we need a second university of Islam, maybe in Detroit. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I'm telling you, it's all a fraud, man. It's all a Ponzi scheme. It is a cult. And you got to call these men out because what they do is every day they spread propaganda, propaganda, propaganda. Why does he? Uh, Y'all need to see me. But here's the second part. We don't want nothing. 
but the freedom to own some of this earth that we can call our own some of this earth that we can call our own that we can call our own so that means build up but instead wesley muhammad is going to a white man and asking a white man for a job if he's the helper of, of louis farrakhan why isn't louis farrakhan panel i'm confused so louis farrakhan hasn't hasn't been paying you all this time wesley muhammad and if he isn't paying you, why don't you go create your own school? Why do you have to go to a white man, excuse me, the white devil, and ask for a job? <laughs> See how it all makes sense? It all makes sense now, right? They ain't doing this because they believe in what they truly supposed to believe in. They got to they gotta feed their family. He got kids to feed. I think he got a wife to feed. He got to go teach. Do it because he loves. No, you need a check. That's what you need. Because in a perfect world, why would you want to leave your helper, your God, the man who gave you permission? Louis Farrakhan gave this man permission to go teach at a white institution. But I, but you forget Louis Farrakhan said one day on the Field Donahue show, there will be white people in the nation of Islam. <laughs> Man, man, this is hilarious, dog. Hilarious, man. These men be lying, running around, saying that they this, that they that. And guess what? They got to get a job just like you, just like me, just like everybody else. Th there's no exception to the rule. The Nation of Islam is not paying his bills. And if, and if they were, it wasn't enough. Because why would you go teach at a white man's institution when you can go down to Chicago and teach at the University of Islam? Got to make it make sense. The reason why people get a job is for greater opportunity. He believes that job at San Francisco State is a greater opportunity. I mean, I did it. I built a, a pretty, uh, no, an overtly successful business with these hands. Why can't he? <laughs> these guys want to be famous y'all they ain't living by the teachings that they're supposed to teach elijah muhammad says you don't drink raw milk you drink the substitutes you don't drink it's a carcinogenic and then elijah muhammad forbidden you to go work for the white man but he goes and gets a job with the white man And don't worry about the people who dumb down this video. It's only going to help the algorithms. And the people who comment says I'm crazy. I want to, I want to see you make a multi-million dollar business from a, from an unemployment check. I did. <laughs> it's about this. This is about economics and sticking to your guns. I never gave up in the middle and said I'm gonna go back to school teaching. I could have. You see these awards? You can't see them, but wrong here. I got a I got a handful of. Education awards teaching. I didn't go back. I kept on building. I kept on building. I intentionally wore this sweater today. It's about ownership. Isn't that what Elijah Muhammad said? We want this land so we can build up our own. We want the freedom to get the land that we deserve and build our own. We want separation. Obviously, Wesley Muhammad believes in integration because he's going to get an integrated check teaching at an integrated school, teaching white students. <laughs> Dog. I've never seen a picture of a white student at the University of Islam. I've never seen it. I've done extensive research. So no matter what he says, he's getting a check from a white man. And Louis Farrakhan gave him permission to do so. You can't be one of Louis Farrakhan's 12 disciples getting a check from a white man. That makes no sense. Isn't Louis Farrakhan spreading the teachings of Elijah Muhammad? But you got to also remember, these are the men that, that said those were 
Elijah Muhammad's wives. They wasn't his wives. How does one wife have a wedding license, but the other, but the other nine don't? If that is his wife, why does Kamal Muhammad got to keep his father a secret to the nation of Islam for years? What father would keep his son a secret? What father wouldn't leave a will What father would force 23 kids to go to court and fight over his estate that the people donated to? Got to make it make sense. So enjoy your job teaching those white kids up at uh, San Francisco State. Must be nice. Must be nice to be getting a check. I'm pretty sure. I mean, that job probably pays a hundred thousand dollars, eighty. Not, I don't know, eighty. It's a public school, so we can Google his salary. Uh, um, he probably makes seventy to one hundred ten thousand. Farrakhan don't have that. Listen to me, seventy to one hundred and ten thousand dollars. Farrakhan doesn't have that to pay one of his disciples. Where's the money? You anyway, know, I don't know where the money's at. I'm I'm not gonna sit here, but um. Anyways, Nine Wives. It's an incredible film on the deceit and how Elijah Muhammad used his power to deceive the people, and how Louis Farrakhan is using his power. Not I mean, he's not teaching. He's not. It's not in accordance with Elijah Muhammad. Farrakhan gives him permission to work at a white school. When Elijah Muhammad said, no separation, no integration. We want separation. Make it make sense. I know someone's going to get on here and, and, and debunk me. Feel free. I don't care. You want the truth? The truth stands alone. The truth has no friends. So I'm not looking for people to say, go, Fred, go. I can, I can do this by myself. Same way I do in boxing, I can do this by myself. You know what I mean? All I need in this life is sin is me and my girlfriend. <laughs> Barbershop conversations, man. Everything he does, I, 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 I got to have time to debunk it because he's a liar. He called Michael Mex a queer. And that phony dude, what's that dude named? Mark Lamont Hill allowed him to say it. And he tweeted it. And, man, these men are disgusting, dog. Mark Lamont Hill wants a white man's check. But want to tell black men what to do. You got to, just like Wesley Muhammad gets a check from a white man, is the same way Mark Lamont Hill is. You can't be as black as you want to be when you're getting a check from a white man. Just like y'all say, I can't be as black as I want to be because I married an Asian woman and had Asian kids, half Asian kids, right? So what's the difference? (laughs) Oh, man. Ownership, y'all. Ownership. Bet on yourself, man. Do completion. Wesley Muhammad gave up. He had to go get a job. Go get a job, man. Hey, just imagine Wesley Muhammad got to walk into walk into his uh walk into the presidential office and say yes, sir. Oh, that must hurt. He got to walk to the president, the president and the board members of San Francisco State and say yes, sir, yes, ma'am. And they're not black. <laughs> Barbershop conversations. Nine wide man. Let's let's play that trailer again. Let's play that trailer again. How about we do that? That'll be good. The film is incredible. I'm getting offers for the film. But since I put up my own money for this film, Wesley Muhammad, you know about putting up your own money? Wesley Muhammad, do you know about putting up your own money? I'm asking the question. To watch this ad right now. Now, you've probably seen a lot of ads on. Do you know about putting up your own money for something? Because I did. Probably don't have any. You know what I mean? This is sad. This is a sad day. And if anyone re- disagrees with me, they disagrees with they disagree with who? 
their teacher, Elijah Muhammad. I think this video is probably agreeing with Elijah Muhammad. <laughs> I think I'm more of Elijah Muhammad follower than any of y'all niggas. I bet on myself and create a, a multi-million dollar business. <laughs> everything about Malcolm. I'm tired of that nigga just lying. Well, that's why we live right now. <laughs> we can up? handle this nigga with all this bullshit with a special edition. This is a Sunday special edition. <laughs> We gonna call this shit all the motherfucking smoke. We want all the smoke over here, <laughs> god damn it. All the smoke, man. All the smoke, man. All the Wesley Muhammad just he's been a lion for lying for years. And because he's an articulate filibuster, people want to listen to him and believe him, man. And I had him on my show, and I, I I've been listening to him for so long because as 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 if you don't know, if you're on my platform, you know that I'm a I'm a I I just enjoy researching Malcolm X and obviously the Nation of Islam is a huge part of Malcolm X's life and his upbringing and Wesley Muhammad goes to the ends of the earth to lie on Malcolm to protect to protect the lies of Elijah Muhammad and the Nation of Islam and I'm just tired of it I'm I, I've sat back for years man years and I felt that. I wasn't mature enough to attack it from a uh, from a factual standpoint. You, 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 you know what I mean? So I just. Uh, so now I'm ready. You know what I mean? Now I'm fucking ready. I'm tired of this dude going around every interview he has, man. Mark Lamont Hill, he called Malcolm X a queer. He said that the Nation of Islam cured him of queer. I said, are you fucking kidding me, dog? Like, uh, and, 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 and Lamont to even put up. Put up put up that uh to do an article uh about eight to ten years ago about Malcolm X being a queer and all this I said it's just man it's 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 just disgusting and, and it's time to put his hand to the fire man the lies they tell man it's, it's just a history of lies man they can cure AIDS through milk you know what I mean what the <laughs> hey 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 uh the white man is the devil but they get government contracts you got, how you gonna curse the hand that feeds you? You understand what I'm saying? So at the end and of the wait, day, look, where it get crazy for me is when all that come together. I'm like, wait a minute. So mm -hmm. the white man is the devil, but you took the checks from the devil mm -hmm. to tell your brothers and sisters that milk can clean them up and cure them of AIDS and every other sickness. After you forgot to tell them that when you got the checks from the white folks. You invested that shit into dairy farms so that you had a month. I said, this shit here is insane. <laughs> and literally the number one most documented problem with uh, cow's milk for men is prostate cancer. So in my mind, I'm saying to myself, how can Farrakhan be literally the walking example of why you should not drink milk? Mm -hmm. And then you guys are standing up in front of your congregations Oh, Sabi, Sabi didn't know he, he he made a mistake with this here. He didn't know what he was. Wait a minute. Hold on, family. Nah. You're not even qualified or educated. You don't have an education in anything related to health, anatomy. Like a lot of times this happens in poverty. You know what I'm saying? Because in poverty, you know, we don't have shit. So we don't have educations. We don't know what educations actually look like. Educations come in flavors like fucking ice cream or Jordans. Okay. You can get different types. Wesley Muhammad is a religious fucking scholar. He doesn't know anything about health. He doesn't know anything about food. He doesn't know anything about your body. He don't know anything about fucking milk. He doesn't know anything about any of that shit. But because people are and that, oh, he's a he's a scholar. He's he's a scholar in pure fucking make believe bullshit because he doesn't even know his shit that well, or he'll stop fucking ducking Paul Guthrie. Yeah, he's a he's a scholar in protecting the image of the nation of Islam. That's what he's an expert in. He's not an expert in none of that. And, and then because he has books behind him and he always comes with eight books and he's speaking in in them theatrical pauses like 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 uh like uh, where art thou? You understand what I'm saying? It's, it's just beyond my own understanding that people just don't go to the facts. For example, I say this. Would you want your daughter being the seventh wife of Elijah Muhammad? Mm. No. Obviously, he said no, and then he realized that the nation of Islam was watching, and, and, and he had to self-correct himself. 
at the end of the day, this man lies and lies and lies. Like, for example, he said that Malcolm wanted to uh, uh, re-engage or get back in the Nation of Islam. How is that possible when on February 14th, 1965, he said the Nation of Islam bombed his house? And then, and then to double on that, Elijah Muhammad said, Elijah Muhammad said, oh, he probably did it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That makes sense, right? That makes sense. You understand what I'm saying? So, and then he goes on an interview Wednesday or Thursday with a gentleman with uh with the assistant to muhammad ali and he tells the story of how the nation of islam uh severely beat him up and they actually did time for this and um it's 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 just beyond my own comprehension that people listen to this man i'm just tired of him every interview he does uh he he he, he attempts to defame uh, uh malcolm x and i'm just tired of it man i'm simply tired of it man and and the people need to know the truth at the end of the day. Just tell the people truth and let them get do it. So, so, so if I say uh, the black man is God, uh, the black woman is God, God is a black man. Who's your leader? Who's your leader? Who's your leader? Is he a black man? That's a good can question. A, can a non-black man teach a black man how to be a black man? Mm. You know what I mean? I don't think W.D. Farad is a black man. You understand what I'm saying? Just tell the people the truth. You know what I mean? Don't tell them what you need them to know so they can, can keep on donating. You understand? So they can. Yeah. 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 Yeah, man. So, so at the end of the day, man, it, it's just I'm tired of the lies, man. And I'm tired. Man. And he's the only guest I've ever had on my show, Inky, that I just had no respect for. None. None. And And, and, and I'm typically even killed and calm but w when you've seen videos from him and um uh, was it mark lamont hill doing interviews every chance he's like the spokesperson for michael max for mark lamont how about come on man come on man mark lamont hill need to knock that shit off yeah man we need to knock that shit off see what happens is he don't realize his shit getting ready to start looking suspect because you keep putting putting you keep standing next to wesley Wesley is the guy Method Man was talking about years ago. You make it hot. Niggas won't even stand next to you. Like, when Wesley did a whole tour, and I sat back and I watched, I have to always ragdoll these niggas, Fred, when they fuck up with the science. Like, I'm literally quality control for scientific information in this community shit. So I'm watching. I see your man Breakfast Club. And Breakfast see, these platforms is really the problem, Fred. Mm -hmm. No because people keep, people keep turning microphones on in front of him. And that's what's really the problem. So he goes on tour and he's telling everybody all across. Oh, yeah. You know, the government has a program where they're using marijuana to make the black man uh, docile, to make him turn him into a homosexual, to uh, to lower the sperm count, the semen count. And I'm saying to myself, I wonder how many children Wesley Muhammad got. Because uh, me and Sabi are, are highly favorable on cannabis. And uh, nigga, nigga, <laughs> that's all I can say. One word. That's my whole explanation. Nigga, I have 10 children and two sets of twins. I promise you, if cannabis was going to stop reproduction, I would not have a family. <laughs> but for certain people, that's anecdotal type of evidence. So when I approached the situation, you know, I had to pull up the latest Harvard studies because he was propping this, this, this jargon up with shit from the 1910, 1920s, 1930s, these outdated studies. That's so when I pulled up the, the, the premier group of researchers frontline right now, we look at the Harvard study, the Harvard study showed that not only um, our cannabis users, um, they have more potent sperm. Their sperm cells are swimming more. They got higher amount, the more healthy, yada, 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 yada. So everything that he was saying in his presentations across the country was not only foolish, but you're literally hurting people because you come out one to two years before the legislation passes 
for the largest cash crop agricultural revival where all of these people that have been participating in this culture illegally can now get their shit together and take advantage of the legal opportunities to reform they you done ran folks away with this program and telling people that cannabis turning men into women and no 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 that's the art of misdirection because they done invested literally millions and millions and millions of dollars into cows, Fred. Mm. They didn't invest and they trying to, oh, the A1 cow, the A2 cow. And see, those conversations all work with people that don't know any better. But then when you come to me with that, I'm like, oh, no, I know the difference between the A1 and the A2 cow and the proline instead of this and the change this amino acid. I already know what it is. But those cows y'all using is making way more casein and, and morphine than the average. So I'm like, nah. And then we start to talk about the mTOR pathway, which is the pathway that actually creates the cancer. Cow's milk directly turns that on because it puts your body in a state of hyper growth, which is one of the hallmarks of cancer, but the cells are growing, you know, out of control. So without even getting too sciencey, it's just like these people clearly have no problem with sacrificing the lives of their followers. That was the scariest shit to watch him in front of a room telling people, white people have more you melanin than black people. And they in the, yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is happening over there? Milk, as the sun gets, as the sun gets darker and dimmer, we can get stronger and stronger by using the, I said, what? The cows can replace the fucking sunlight. I said, man, this is scary, bro. It's, and the scariest part to me was not that he was saying those things. We there's, there's never been a time period where there wasn't idiots saying, you know, like, <clears throat> but the crazy thing was the people. And they was like, yeah. And I'm like, yo, this is insane. It's like this big fat lady from Philly. I got her on my Instagram. She putting about 20 goddamn pounds of Stavado sugar. Uh, and people was hit, and we, I'm like, yo, what the hell is this? People hitting me up, attacking me. Oh, Inky, that's a black business. Oh, Inky, she be buying children's school books and book bags in, in September. I'm like, nigga, she's killing their parents in October, November, December. <laughs> Fred, I would be in trouble, brother. And it's leadership. Yeah, big trouble because people don't want to uh, have common sense and trust the truth, man. People always want to believe in hope and people always want to believe that someone must lead them. Like, like a human must lead them. They forget God is in the spiritual realm. Why are you always allowing a man to lead you? You don't have to allow a man to lead you. You know, and 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 they have this Messiah complex, this God complex, you know, because if you ask Wesley Muhammad, he's going to send you he's going to talk for 30 minutes. And I say, just can you just answer it? Yes or no. You, you understand what I'm saying? Like sure. Elijah Muhammad never said he had nine wives. Never said it. Never said it. I have I've all his speeches. I've I've combed through as much as I possibly could. No, he's never. And if he had nine wives, where's the inheritance? Mm. Why did they go to court? Why is there no legal documentation? Mm. Why are you have at least 10 unsigned, unsigned birth certificates? You understand? And this is the man that Wesley Muhammad is validating. How can a father, how can a man validate another man that was not a man? A, a, a solid man cannot validate an immoral man. You understand? And I, I think it's just grossly disgusting. Uh, um, I think he needs to start. He always goes to safe places. You, you understand what I'm saying? And then they have this language. Oh, you're an agent. You're no, we're not. an. <laughs> oh, oh. So everyone that disagrees with you is an agent, right? Let me tell you, Fred. Let me let yeah. me tell you how sneaky and slimy and slithery and low down and 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 how cowardly amongst everything else because see that right there the cowardice is not something that i would have associated with the noi until wesley muhammad cowardice like 
like being scared of men, like being scared of having public conversation. Like I would not have ever associated many things you can associate with the NOI, but until Wesley, cowardice was not one. When he made that shit about, first of all, when he first did the video where he mentioned Dr. Sabi's name, I saw it. Nigga sent it to me immediately. I just let it rest. I was like, eh, eh he ain't really. That's too stupid. Nobody's going to go for that. He can't even pronounce the word tyrosine. He doesn't even know how to read it. He's, he doesn't even know how to read the words that he's saying. So I'm like, eh, we good. So the video is quiet. Nobody pays attention to it, just as I predicted. This nigga Wesley Muhammad waits eight months, clips the part that he's talking about Dr. Sebi, retitles it, puts some disrespectful shit on the title, and then re-releases that clip alone. Mm. And when he re-releases that clip of uh, uh, this uh, gay, uh, what's this? Uh, uh, excuse me, I don't want to insult the gay community. He's, he's not a part of y'all community. He's a slime boy. Rizzy Islam. Rizzy Islam on his platform, he dissed Sabi. Then, Ben on his little platform, he dissed Sabi. I said, oh, so you niggas put together a concerted effort to go against the grain because the information is fucking up y'all money every day. I see to it every day that one person that didn't know about cow's milk yesterday knows today that that shit is poison, it's fucking up your body, it's fucking up your children's bodies. And the craziest thing is that Elijah Muhammad himself said so in How to Eat to Live 1 and 2. Elijah Muhammad said don't be on that cow's milk. Elijah Muhammad said that the health food stores have alternatives to cow's milk, so use those. Elijah Muhammad in How to Eat to Live said that the cow's milk is for cows. <laughs> you, you should pull that up on the screen. Or on the next time we come, you should do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so I ran through all these and I said, you know what? I sent you the clip. I sent you the article of them getting money to uh, to go into the, the prisons and teach nation and teach Islam. Okay. Let me see. Uh, it's in the email. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what happens is the Nation of Islam and Wesley Muhammad and one of their spokespersons or research team basically verified. He was on my show, too. And I was rather polite to him because I was intaking information. But um, people need to see that, that they are part of the prison industrial complex. Woo! Um, because they get money from the government to go in the prisons and teach Islam. You understand? Do, 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 do you get that? You can't curse your job. You can't curse your boss out and expect to get a check on Friday. They get close to $400,000 a year for 12 years. They got it. Wow. You understand? And Demetric Muhammad, who is a part of their research team, and I, I think Wesley Muhammad is uh, the other guy, uh, the guy from Indianapolis. Um, they they are a part of this. And it's just it's just flabbergasting to me that they talk about their nation. Right. How many acres do they own? How many acres do Wesley Muhammad own? Mm. Middle America should be all nation of Islam, man. It's very inexpensive. You understand? Get out of these big cities for notoriety and do the work. They're not doing the. They're not doing the work, Inky. What's up? Let me, let me show you this, Fred, and we're going to jump back over to that one because that's the Zach. You're saying the same thing I was saying, but you have a different story. So that's that makes this shit way hotter because yeah. I don't know. I don't know anything about this government. This four hundred, this half a million dollars a year that they were getting to go into the prisons. I don't know anything about that. What I know about is the millions of dollars that they got to come up with this milk bullshit. Oh, the AIDS thing with the doctor. Yeah. And, and Louis Farrakhan, Louis, I'm going to quote Louis Farrakhan. I've done so much research on, on them because of how they disrespect Malcolm. It's just beyond me how to, 
I think Malcolm spiritually outgrew the nation of Islam. You understand? Um, look, look at this. Look, look, oh, the doctor look, from look, DC, look. right? The doctor from the DMV area. Oh yeah, I'm, I, yeah, I can pull him up. Um, but look, look at this money. Ten, ten um, clinics got two hundred and thirteen thousand apiece. All you gotta do is add one more zero. That's like that's two point one million dollars they got, and they were charging five times the cost. Facts. So if something costs fifty dollars, they charge two hundred and fifty dollars. I have all this proof. Nothing I say today will be a lie. Nothing I say today will be a lie because I can't afford it to infringe upon my credibility on my platform. I have all the paperwork, all the videos. Um. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a, I forget what it's called. Emeril, Emerfil, what's it called? That, that, that. Anyways, I, I can't think of the name off the top of my head. But at the end of the day, they, they, they bamboozled us by getting money from the government to cure AIDS, and it did nothing. It did nothing. And wait, let me it, tell you, they was a part of the campaign against Doctor Sabi. Mm-hmm. When he was dealing with his court issues, mm-hmm. that was the whole shit. So because people got short attention spans, when Wesley Muhammad reclipped the video and Ben and Rizzy Islam and all them attacked in unison, for me, that was the continuation because now Sabi's gone. He can't defend himself. He's gone. He can't defend himself. So now now it's open season. But people didn't know that they had been attacking Dr. Sabi since the 80s because Dr. Sabi was the other thing. So the option for the black people dealing with AIDS at the time was traditional medicine, which didn't have an option. But then the Nation of Islam propped up by the two million dollars they got from the pharmaceutical industry. To not only come with the milk BS, but to also discredit and defame Dr. Sabi to move people out of the position of being able to really affect their health. And, 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 you know, I said, this is some other shit right here. Yeah, that money went straight to Chicago. You know what I mean? Uh, Louis Farrakhan was definitely a benefactor of that, you know, because he has to OK everything. And if you don't. And here's the catch that I want to want you guys to understand. If the Nation of Islam disapproves of you, they will suspend you. Malcolm X, Wallace Muhammad, uh, Nuri, not Nuri Muhammad, uh, Khalid Muhammad. They will suspend you. And, and, and let's talk about why Khalid Muhammad was suspended. Khalid Muhammad was suspended for nothing. He said, I forget what he said about those people. I don't want to get your... Your algorithm's thrown yeah. off. We all know the quote at, at, at uh, King College. He said what they had always been saying and what Farrakhan said what they had always been saying. But the reason why, I'm going to tell you guys why. Because the Senate was about to strip them of all that money that they're getting. I, I have the articles. I, I'll send that to you, or the articles. And because of that, they had to disassociate from Khalid Muhammad. And the reason why, and, and, and they want, and, that, and at the end of the day, we all know what happened October 16th, 1995, the Million Man March. And you know, they took up an offering at the Million Man March. So all these things make sense when you're able to see things from 50,000 feet. And I think Wesley Muhammad has, has, disingenuously been spreading this message knowing that he's lying a grown man can't say all these things and truly believe him you know what i mean he wants to be the leader of the nation of islam all these guys are biding to be the face of the nation of islam and when louis farrakhan he's 88 years old i'm not we all know but we understand the the rules of mortality um He's going to go, I don't know when, but sooner than a 30-year-old, one would imagine, right? Right. They have nothing in place, so who's going to be the leader? You understand what I'm saying? The reason why is because they have to take what? Those stuff, that stuff to the grave. You understand? 
And that's why men like Malcolm X get defamed. You know what I mean? Men like Khalid Muhammad, because their ethics supersedes human interests, supersedes materialism, supersedes their last name. You want supersedes the, the, the last name of, of the so-called leader. And I think Wesley Muhammad has just been lying all these years. Lying, I mean, just to the gills, man. And people just sit there and, and support him because he can answer a question in 10 and 10 minute monologues. I'm I'm over him, man. I'm over him. And the things that he says, man. What is, <laughs> oh, Whoa. Wesley, man. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Some of these sound bites. Yeah, and, and white people have more you melanin than black people. They have fayo melanin. I'm like, wait, that's the wrong way around. Yeah, because milk can replace the sunlight. What the fuck did he just say? Man, if the sunlight goes, the cows can't. If the sunlight goes, the cows is dead. They can't even. I said, man, this thing here. This is some whole other shit. They go into wild lengths to prop up this dairy and pie business. And it's insane that they don't have. And that's crazy. That's probably the one thing that's most pronounced between what they got going on now and what the roots was. Because this can't be about do for self at this point when it's clearly about getting, you know, contracts and, and grant money and, and, you know, creating this fake narrative where you're on, on the camera like, hey, uh, tell with the white folks. Meanwhile, the white folks are actually ghostwriting your speeches. Uh, yeah, they're ghostwriting your shit. <laughs> yeah, you might be on to something. Yeah. You might be right. I never thought about it from that perspective, but oh, yeah. All of that shit is ghost written. If the so here's the thing. You either edit it or you unedit it. You script it or unscript it. So once your shit is scripted, nigga, even if you write it yourself, you got to pass it to them so they can make sure like am I saying the right things? Okay, what what shouldn't I say? Okay, take that out, take that out, take that out. All right, cool. These niggas is go getting ghost writers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they believe in the ghosts. <laughs> you understand? Like, like they don't tell you that uh fraud went to jail. Fraud was a prisoner. God was in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what was it san quentin or was it uh, alcatraz one or two he spent a few years in alcatraz and <laughs> man that was the big that was the big problem for father Allah. Mm -hmm. yeah man that was the big problem for father Allah. I, I i just man it's sad man what they do for money man it's sad what they do for money man and the uh and when you tell the truth, their minions come after you and, oh, you're this, you're that. And that goes to show you that where on, on some levels, they're sheep. You know what I mean? Like, how can you... <laughs> Man, the FBI files. See, see, here's the catch with the FBI files. I need you guys to hopefully you guys understand. Is in terms of what they say, like in terms of conversation, I can't reach, I can't say that that's true. But in terms of location, is there it is very, I don't know what the percentage is. It's very accurate. If they say Malcolm X is giving a speech. In Chicago, May 1st, 1962. Guess what? All you got to do is go to YouTube, type in the date, or type it in your Google search. It pops right up. If you say Elijah Muhammad is taking a trip to Mexico on 1958, 1962, well, he didn't get his passport then, but oh, he didn't need a passport, but he was trying. But, anyways, that as a matter of fact, information is true. OK, and when the FBI files says then Rod Muhammad was in prison, that's true. 
I don't know what was said. I, 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 I'm, I'm not even going to begin to refute or debate what is true and what not true in terms of what he said to the police officer and what the police officer said to him. But if, if, if it say the man was arrested 1929, whatever, 1930, he was arrested in 1929 and 1930. Okay. And it's, uh, it's sad that they can tell you that he's going to come back on a spaceship. Elijah Muhammad's coming back on a spaceship uh on the mother wheel and people really believe that i've i've interviewed uh people of the nation of islam who are no longer in it they used to look up at the sky at night looking for the wheel imagine spending your whole childhood looking for a spaceship that don't exist you understand and, and one of the reasons why they're pre pretending to be experts on ufos and uh out of space is because of the mother wheel they want to want their parishioners to believe that the mother will is coming and Elijah Muhammad is coming on the mother will. You know, how crazy is this? Farrakhan says, Farrakhan says he kissed the forehead of Elijah Muhammad at the funeral. Right? Mm -hmm. And then he comes back in the 80s and said, he's alive. <laughs> He's alive. And two of his sons says that, uh, man, and, 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 and Wesley Muhammad spews these lies and lies. And here's the catch. They won't answer these questions. Yeah. They won't answer them. Oh, you're an agent. And how are you going to derail the, the, uh, the movement of the black people? How many, how many acres does the nation's own? How many banks? How many hospitals? You are. See, here's the catch. They complain about being, um, being censored on social media. Okay. How the fuck is a nation complaining about being censored? How how are they complaining about being censored on something that they don't own? They are a nation. They're not worried about being censored, worried about Farrakhan being censored. Because you know why? You're supposed to be a nation. Everything's supposed to be all inclusive. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, to answer your question, Rap Box, I'm talking about previous to 1930. They said he disappeared between 1933 and 1934. He taught uh, Elijah Muhammad for three and a half years or something like that. Um, and then he just disappeared. Prior to him disappearing, he was a he was an inmate <laughs> for multiple crimes, man. And uh I, I, I just encourage everyone to do their research. It, it, it's not about arguing with them, going to your going to your local corner and arguing with them. If you want to do that, that's fine. But I don't like it when they attach their message to destroying another man. You understand? Like, how can <laughs> he called my? Oh man, it's, it's, it's just disparaging to say that Malcolm X was a hypocrite. And he didn't d destroy multiple women's lives. How many single mothers? How many single mothers did Elijah Muhammad create? Right? How many black women's lives did he destroy by not financially, physically, and spiritually supporting their kids? You understand? He actually, these are facts, it's well documented. They had their own court system, the Nation of Islam. They had their own court system. The wives, the wives, the women used to go before the, the Nation of Islam. And Elijah Muhammad was overseeing it, knowing that he was the father of the kid that, they, that was in question. And he isolated and or suspended them and or kicked them out the nation. How disgusting is that? When the adulterer, puts the victim in prison <laughs> like you get what i'm saying or how about when he calls the police i have all these documents man. he calls the police on ola hughes who is still alive today um and her son who is a very successful man in the midwest uh calls the police because she's seeking refuge and financial support 
and he calls the police on her because she's she's trespassing on his house on his property. Slime ball shit, bro. It's it, it, it's just all bad, man. And and, and Wesley Muhammad, um, uh, not a man. Watch this doctrine, like, like he's man. I, I'm just tired of him, man. I'm tired of him. If if you think so highly of what's going on. How about you have your own concubine? How about you do this? How about you create it? Because you can't in America. That's why. Because you can't. Listen, let me tell you. Wesley Muhammad, right? Uh, Paul Guthrie. Uh huh. Yeah. Stalking Wesley Muhammad to have a conversation about his religious scholarship. I literally stalked Wesley Muhammad for 12 months. Wow. To have a conversation about milk, more than twelve months. To have a conversation about this milk shit and how he disrespecting Doctor Sabi. Wow. Let me tell you what this nigga does. Let me. Let me. This. This is gonna sum up what type of actual man Wesley Muhammad is. And I, and I think that people need to hear this because people get this confused. People get the quality of an actual individual man confused with his ideology. So. Because he's attached to a nation of Islam ideology, you guys are putting something on this coward that's not there. Dr. Sebi's son, Victor Bowman, my guy, right? That's my guy. Shout out to Victor. You know what I'm saying? Victor is kind of like, he's really like, he didn't know a lot of this shit was going on. He didn't really understand the politics and the fuckery and the... the so he trying to just be, you know, he just trying to get the herbs out there, show love to everybody. He don't know what's going on. The Nation of Islam has a sister reach out to him like, hey, you know, we want to help, you know, promote your message and blah, blah, blah. And so in his mind, he like, oh, shit, the Nation of Islam is coming around. Like, you know, they want to they want to help my info get out there. So they set up a meeting for him to sit down with Wesley so that. They could promote his herbs and healing. Mm. And then he was interested in sitting down because, of course, his father was a member. You know, he was down with Nation of Islam back in the day. So, you know, as a young man, your father's gone. My father's gone. You know what I'm saying? I'm a lot older than Victor. And I'm still looking to talk to my dad's friends and things like that to find out more things about my dad. That's right. me. Right. So, you want to, you know what I'm saying? So, so Victor's like, okay, well, shit, I can find out some info maybe about my dad I didn't know or find out what it was that he was he liked about the, you know, you know, he just want to get, you know, and then spread his message. But he not good with English language like that. You know what I'm saying? His mind is like Victor's, Victor's a sharp, you know what I'm saying? But he not really with the English like that. He's, you know, so Wesley has him come there Led like this is some real slime ball shit. They set this kid up to come on camera like he was getting ready to promote herbs and all this. Wow. Before the shit starts, he said they bring him the top five things that Sabi says in his lectures. Don't eat. They offered him those things one at a time. And, you know. Um, he's like, all right, so this is there nothing else that I can munch on? You know, I'm, I'm hungry before we nah. So I think he might have bit a piece of a broccoli or some shit, whatever. Oh, uh, so Dr. Sabi, this, 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 and you just ate some food that Sabi said you can't eat. And blah, blah, blah. He don't even know this. He in the food. Once that camera goes, once that light come on, pff, Wesley is there trying to fire his most heaviest shots at Dr. Sabi's son. Then cuts the video real quick, bop, 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 edits, throws it up. He had to sit down to debate Dr. Sabi's son on the philosophy of Dr. Sabi. I said, yo. Can you send me that video? I said, my nigga, you need your ass beat for fucking with people, kids like that. Mm. You need your ass beat like that. For real, you need an ass whooping. Right. You don't set up no child to be on video to fuck with the legacy of his father like that. That's not what you do, man. The core principles of, you know, the family and all this stuff, what the, I'm like, yo, you can't get no, for me, there's people that look at the merger of, uh, uh, you know, bringing in the Scientology, you know, Rizzi Islam family, 
you know, Rizzi, because Rizzi Islam family is Scientology. Scientology, Rizzi Islam's father is the guy who brings Scientology to Farrakhan. See, and and how 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 ridiculous is that? Is that they align themselves with L. Ron Hubbard? How about you post a picture of what L. Ron Hubbard looks like? <laughs> People need to know these things, man. Wait, wait, look. People need to all know these things, man. So you getting like this with L. Ron Hubbard? You, you're, you're championing, champion. You're gonna champion the legacy of L. Ron Hubbard to move that forward in the black community. But you're going to attack the legacy of Dr. Sabi and try to attack his children to do it. You're gonna attack a holistic lifestyle. You're gonna attack. Khalid, you're gonna attack Malcolm, you're gonna, but you're gonna prop up Scientology, man. Mm -hmm. And then what we find out, y'all over there running the flim flam scam with the baby social securities and shit, <laughs> making it seem like y'all doing therapy for these children and y'all not. Mm -hmm. That's what Rizzi Islam family and them all went to jail for over there with the fraud shit. They was taking the children. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. That's what they went to jail for. They, so they was taking like the children's names and their socials and all that. And they had the Scientology shit up where they could charge the insurance for therapy and, and you know, whatever that mind, really? you know, all that shit that they do. Oh, wow. I so didn't they, know that. I didn't yeah. Know. So they was charging the hell out the government. For a whole bunch of therapy and shit that never actually happened. You know what I'm saying? They just was running shit up on the papers and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they was wilding over there. Absolutely. It's all about, it's all about government aid. <laughs> Every time guess, you turn around, they mixed up with some government bag. I guess you can't. I, I you know, I guess that uh they couldn't find the 10,000 soldiers neither huh, to donate neither. There's a like justice or 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 else. Where's the or else part? You know, like. Stand up. The Nation of Islam is the originators of the PPP check scam. <laughs> mm. Man. Yo, them niggas is the best that ever did it with that grant money. Right, 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 right. It's it's just beyond me. Now, I, I will say this. I'm not I'm not talking about I'm not just talking about because I think their teachings are are are, are flawed in, in some cases. Everything is not wrong with them. Right. I'm not saying that uh, some of the things that they teach, like in, in terms of health, uh, Elijah Muhammad made some good points in terms of health, you know, um, uh, in terms of being a disciplined man. Now, here's the catch. When you say, quote unquote, you built Malcolm. OK, now let's take them at their word. They built Malcolm on the teachings of Elijah Muhammad. Right. When he goes and questions you about your own teachings that he is following and learning and growing from, and you silence him. Explain that. Explain that. I would, I would add this. Explain it in light mm -hmm. of propping up L. Ron Hubbard. Because, see, they can explain it. But then you can't explain it. They can put some flimsy shit together, but it's going to fall apart if you go, okay, well then, okay, if that's what we're going to put, if that's what your reason is for silence and Malcolm, then how do you niggas campaign for L. Ron Hubbard and Aleister Crowley and all the other associated ghost writers with the L. Ron Hubbard philosophy? Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and here's a direct correlation with Khalid Muhammad and Malcolm X, the influence of government infiltration. JFK, Malcolm X, Elijah Muhammad, right? He defamed uh, or he disrespected the parishioners or the supporters of, of uh, America and JFK. Now you go to 1990, I forget what year, 1990-something, 1993, 94 with um, Keene's college speech. The U.S. Senate and the Black Caucus told him to denounce Khalid Muhammad or else you get what I'm saying there's a direct correlation with the government and oust and ousting uh, Malcolm X and ousting Khalid Muhammad people don't want to accept these truths you understand and 
and my and, and this is just I'm going to inject my opinion on this one time, or well, this may not be the only time in this show, but I think that was a cover up for what happened in October. So you got to take into account in October, in October of 1963, right? October of 1963, yeah, October of 1963, uh, Elijah Muhammad and Malcolm X had a had a powwow, had a meeting, and they basically said, uh, Malcolm says, I'm standing on this side as it pertains to what you're doing with these women and the money, and Elijah's going to stand on the other side. And Elijah Muhammad could not afford that to be the break in, in, the, uh, in Malcolm and Elijah because if it's about morality, it's over. Malcolm would be correct. You get what I'm saying? So it was it was it, it happened by by chance that he said those comments about uh, JFK and that was the, you know, the the severance of it. But at, at the end of the day, um, if it's about morality and morality and integrity, I think men like Khalid Muhammad, men like Malcolm X had had a higher level than Elijah Muhammad at a higher level than Farrakhan and most definitely had a higher level than Wesley Muhammad, you know? So, um, and, 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 and that's why I'm here and that's why I'm going to re upload this on my platform is just to people search the truth. Stop searching for a God. Stop searching for a human God search for the truth. The, the truth is God. God is the decision you're going to make. I always tell, always tell people and people who don't understand when I say this and, and, and right. And you have every right not to understand. God is the decision you make to spend five dollars to feed you and your brother or to spend five dollars on yourself. That's God. If, if you choose to to make the right decision and and spend that five dollars so you and your brother can eat, that's God. Fuck that shit. You understand? God ain't. God, God wasn't a materialistic being. I didn't. There's no point in no religious book where God Joe drove a Bentley. There's no point in, in where God had you, you understand what I'm saying. So um, I think we need to really, really dig deep in terms of the truth. The truth is hidden well below the materialism. It's hidden well below how many women you got. It's hidden well below how much money you have. You understand? The truth is under all that. We got to take all these layers off. You know what I mean? And every layer has a God complex. Materialism, money. You know what I mean? It's not sexism, but, but you know, but all these have God. These are gods in you. And once you under, once you get under all that, there lies the truth. Hey, now you put that together. I couldn't have put that together better. Let me say that. Mm -hmm. I actually, based on exactly what the fuck you said. Now, mind you guys, mm -hmm. Fred doesn't know what I'm about to say. No. But just but you guys do. Y'all out there. Y'all know. But y'all, what y'all don't know is that Fred doesn't know about this. So that when he says that. But because of those very same reasons, I literally sat out, sat down, and took about 12 months to put together an actual course wow. to teach people that. And I named the course the God Complex. Mm. Literally. I actually, and there's still people still in it now taking the course right now. But the God Complex course was to teach people all of the facets of their body and to also. Not once you get that understanding to know now you have a compass to search for God and that map has to go within. That's where you need to. That's where that's where you're going to find all those answers. Right. But until you know what what the what inside what does inside look like? What is that? OK, come on into the class. Let me get you together. Bop, 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 right. bop, 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 bop. Just think how programmed we are. We're programmed to lie to our best friend 
about how far we're away from picking them up. Put that in perspective. How this society has pro. If you're 30 minutes away, you can tell your best friend you're 30 minutes away. Think about that. That's people call it a white lie, but that's programming. That's programming. Facts. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, I'm only 15 minutes away. No, no. Tell the truth. You understand? Like it's it's it, it it's 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 gross negligence on what God created within us. You know what I mean? Stop neglecting. Stop neglecting the being that God put in your human flesh. And I think we're doing too much of it. And and Wesley Muhammad is one of the ringleaders of that. You, you understand? He's definitely one of the ringleaders of of lying to your spiritual being. That's right. You understand? You understand? I would put him. I would put him in a space like I critique Little Nas X, mm -hmm. but I had a bigger. But I had a bigger critique for the nation of Islam allowing him to use the X. And I think that somebody like what West, somebody like Wesley Muhammad, is infinitely more dangerous than a little Nas X, because although we we got what's going on with little Nas X, that's what's going on with him. Like he's not packaged another way. When you come as a group that's supposed to be uplifting, and what you're really trying to do is ensnare and entrap. Because your value to the government, see, the reason they get those grants is because they show the government, they go, look, we have this many followers. How much is the, how, what's the value of this? They were social media before social media. They're coming the same way Facebook collects your data and goes to the government and says, look, we can sell you this data because we got this many people on our platform and this is what they're interested in. And blah, 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 blah. That's what the Nation of Islam is doing. They've been doing it before there was social media. You know what I'm saying? So. This is the power that we really have that that Fred is trying to really highlight. It starts. It's, it's <laughs> this is your temple of worship. Think about this. The temple. This is your temple of worship. This needs to be your temple right here. You know what I'm saying? This is what we need. But again, less than 2% of Americans read books, Fred. And of that 2% of Americans, 90% of them are only reading because they have a job or school that forces them to do it. And let me take and, and 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 let me uh add to that. You can't worship with like-minded people you only see once a week. Your like-minded people are your husband, your wife, and your kids. That's your church. Man. People are miss they 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 done bamboozled us to believe that we have to go worship with a hundred people. You don't know what those hundred people do on a daily basis. That's right. Porn hub, uh, prostitution, uh, drugs, alcohol. How are you going to, how are you literally going to worship with like-minded people and you can't control or have access to their everyday life? Clearly my turtle agrees too. My turtle just damn near jumped out the fishbowl when you said that. <laughs> it's, it's the household, man. It. It's the household. It's your son. It's your daughter. It's your grandmother who lives with you. Your grandfather who lives with you. You see them on an everyday basis. That's your morality based. People have misconstrued all this shit, man. You understand what I'm saying? You know why NBA players are good? They practice every day as a team. You know why? Uh, you froze. You know why the New England Patriots are good back in the day? Because they practice. Tom Brady and them practice every day. They have uh, OTAs. Uh, then they, it's like a nine month job. They would, they're together every day. You're not with the people you go to church with every day. No. Don't know what the people do, you know, and and men like Wesley Muhammad is gonna make you believe and believe and believe more in that God complex. Oh, you got to come here and pay your tithes ten percent. How do how are you paying tithes to a building and you're not paying tithes to your temple? 
I'm going to repeat that. How are you paying tithes to a building and you're not paying tithes to your temple? Woo. People are so busy looking outward. The truth is inward. And men like Wesley Muhammad are lying to you. Oh, you need milk. Malcolm was a queer. Uh, Malcolm wanted to get back with the nation of Islam. Uh, 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 W.D. Farad was God. Where is he in the Quran if he's God? Oh, hold, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on, Fred. Let me, let me put up this clip real quick. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Because I want to show this clip. Now, look. So far, we haven't really showed a lot. You know what I'm saying? But if y'all understand, this is this is boxing. See, Fred, right? This is Barber Cop Shop, Barber Shop conversation. So Fred understands box. So when you get in the ring, you don't just start throwing haymakers and wind yourself. Mm -hmm. It's meticulous. Body, body, jab, jab, jab. You know what I'm saying? Now, if it looked like you, then we got other shit in the. So this though right here shows you the character that we're talking about with wesley muhammad wesley muhammad is going to tell a bold face lie in this video and i just made this little quick little 10 minute video just to highlight the lie because in my mind i'm saying to myself if he really believed this cow's milk shit was a healthy nutritious thing he'd be banging for it he'd be out there pushing it if i if i was to come up against it He'd be like, nah, you don't know what you're talking about because I have all these facts to back up what I'm saying. In none of the milk conversation, the controversy, did he ever do that because he's incapable. That's why he tried to railroad and set up Victor. But let me show this little clip so y'all can see. It's, it's funny to me, but it just shows his inability to tell the truth. My man Wesley, Nestle Crunch. My man, Nestle Crunch. Um, the first um response to your video I saw was Minister Dr. Inky. Have you ever did you ever get a chance to see Dr. Inky's response to you? That was mischief making with my words. Trifle saying white people have a higher ratio of you melody. You follow? Whole milk, white milk, is liquid sunlight. So the statement does not come from your brother that Dr. Sabi is wrong on milk. That's not my statement. I did not say that. Right. You listen to Dr. Sabi all you want. I love Dr. Sabi. May he rest in peace. But he didn't make a mistake in this. He made an error. So the statement does not come from your brother that Dr. Sabi is wrong on milk. That's not my statement. I did not say that. Right. You can listen to Dr. Sabi all you want. I love Dr. Sabi. <laughs> May he rest in peace. But he didn't make a mistake in this. He made an error. That was mischief making with my words. White people have a higher ratio of you, Melly. You follow? Try for saying, try for saying his video. Or, you, you mean which of the 100,000? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I saw, I, I, I I saw hit, Dr. Iggy was the first one to come out and respond. Yo. Your man got a hundred degrees in religious studies. Listen to me. Your man got a hundred degrees in religious studies. Why does he keep my name in his mouth? Some mischief making with some mischief making with some mischief making with every time Wesley Muhammad talk, he got my name in his mouth. Every video Wesley Muhammad make now, <laughs> he got my name in his mouth. Somebody please tell Wesley Muhammad if he does not want to get on the stage, if he does not want to just have a public discussion with me, man to man, keep my name out your mouth, bro. 
You see, you can fool some of the people some of the time, but you can't fool all of the people all of the time. So when you keep saying the mischief maker, when you keep saying the mischief maker, some mischief making with some mischief making with, I know that you know some mischief making with that you're invoking some mischief making with <laughs> you're invoking you it all, man. some mischief making with <laughs> some mischief making with to breathe fire some mischief making with on your puny corpus of work some mischief making with some mischief making with you know who I am. Some mischief making with. Do not pretend. Some mischief making with. Not to know who I am. We know what your credentials are. You know who I am better than you know what a cup of milk is. That was mischief making with my words. So yes, I'm aware of the controversy. I'm aware that much of it, however, was it, it, is anchored in mischief making and pettiness. We posted that only after mischief was made. Now, but somebody <laughs> created out the blue, created mischief with our brother, creating a video. So the statement does not come from your brother that Dr. Savy is wrong on milk. That's not my thing. I did not say that. Right. You can listen to Dr. Sabi all you want. I love Dr. Sabi. May he rest in peace. But mm -hmm. he didn't make a mistake in this. He made an error. Because our position is way more nuanced than people give it credit for because most people don't actually study our position on this. There are all kinds of molecules that are in the milk that have healing properties. And now clinical trials have been done that has shown that you can actually cure AIDS with raw milk. Yeah, yeah, that's the clip. That's ridiculous, <laughs> man. <laughs> Yo, oh, my God. Study oh no, it's coming back. It's coming. There are all kinds of molecules that are in the milk that have healing properties. And now clinical trials have been done that has shown that you can actually cure AIDS with raw milk. There are all kinds of molecules that are in the milk that have healing properties. And now clinical trials have been done that has shown that you can actually cure AIDS with raw milk. There are all kinds of molecules that are in the milk that have healing properties. And now clinical trials have been done that has shown that you can actually cure AIDS with raw milk. There are all kinds of molecules that are in the milk that have healing properties. And now clinical trials have been done that has shown that you can actually cure AIDS with raw milk. And to clear up, mischief making that or the mischief that has been made with my work. Trifle saying white people have a higher ratio of you melon. <laughs> Whole milk, white milk is liquid sunlight. I had to address here some mischief that has been made. Because that introductory mischief making pettiness stuff would not be in. All right, my brother. Um, the first um response to your video I saw was Minister Dr. Inky. Have you ever did you ever get a chance to see Dr. Inky's response to you? His video. You mean which of the one hundred thousand? Yeah. <laughs> I saw. I, I, I saw Dr. The, Iggy was the first one to come out and respond. And to clear up mischief making that, or the mischief that has been made with my work. Try for saying white people have a higher ratio of you melody. Yeah. So. 
And y'all can see the date on that is April from 2019. Mm. You see what I'm saying? The date on that is April from 2019. And when you hear Sa ask him, did you see the response from Dr. Inky? His answer tells everything. He said, which of the 100,000 responses? So that means he knows that I was clearly on his bumper honking the horn like, nigga, <laughs> eh, 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 hop out. I was in, I was, I was on, I was on Wesley, Mah uh, Wesley Muhammad bumper. Hey, did you see that new movie? It's just on Amazon right now. If you watch this new movie on Amazon, you're going to crack the fuck up. It's Russell Crowe in the movie. I haven't seen it. Uh... Okay. And Russell Crowe is having road rage. Uh -huh. And turns into yo. He, it's the movie is it's two hours about him going insane, killing up everything in the city because he having road rage. I was literally on Wesley Muhammad bumper honking the horn like Russell Crowe having road rage on his thing. <laughs> <laughs> as we should, as we should, because he's spewing these lies and he's a fraud, man. He is Wesley Muhammad is a fraud, beyond fraud, man. Why would you be teaching a, a room full of Nation of Islam supporters that's quote unquote under the impression that the black man is God, right? Mm. That white people have more you melanin than they, than they do. Like, I'm like, wait, what is happening right now? What is happening in these spaces? Like, I, I feel like Elijah Muhammad may be turning over in his grave looking at some of this shit. I'm beyond. <laughs> Some of this, this is high level fuckery. Like all of this, we can't ascribe to Elijah. Like some of this is just stops with Wesley and Farrakhan. Right. 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 And the fact that, man, come on, man. I mean, you can't make this up, man. Farrakhan <laughs> said on a Donahue show that one day the nation of Islam will have white people in it. <laughs> come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. He saw Elijah Muhammad on a spaceship but couldn't see his face. Come on, man. People believe people really believe these things. And Wesley Muhammad is spewing this hate, man. Sometimes we got to really look at who they choose. We always want to uh blame like um the white man this, the white man that. Sometimes we got to look at the people that the white man chooses. Ooh. And if you're getting a government check, if you're getting a check from the government and claiming to be black this, black that, and you're cashing their checks, you are the chosen man by them. Mm. And it's time that the world recognizes this. More importantly, the black community. Take what's good from it. You know what I mean? The, the disciplines of it. You understand? Being clean, clean, being cleanliness, you know, um, discipline, being upright, pr uh, physical presentation. Yeah. E Elijah Muhammad has some good components, but when it was time to elevate from a from a morale perspective, he said, "Nah, we ain't having that. I'm enjoying all this money I'm getting. You know, what I mean, I'm enjoying all these 19 year old girls, these 20 year old girls, man. You, you know, what I mean, they in love with me. <laughs> I got a handful of them. I take them to Mexico. I take them to Phoenix. You know, what I mean, I mean, I got it so good. My wife don't even live with me. She she gonna go live with my son Akbar. Yeah, you you understand what I'm saying." <laughs> And I don't lie because I don't want them to come back and say that I'm lying. All this is true. Um, and Wesley Muhammad spews these things and he he goes away from the question by telling you these uh, these artificial facts. <laughs> you know what I mean? Making you believe that God is so esoteric. <laughs> Right, that you can't really under, but yeah. but but somehow, and this is what messes me up with this whole God, this this a part of this God complex, um, that they really run with with mastery. This is a this is a con that they're running with mastery. This is a high level, long term con. Like this is some shit that 
I don't care if Donald Goins and Robert Beck would have co-wrote a book together. They wouldn't have been able to come up with some shit this good. How is it that God is imperceivable by people? Not understandable by people. Not knowable by people. Until they get a degree from a certain type of school. Mm -hmm. I said, well, wait a minute. Who's running that school? Who certifies that program? So that person has the ability to anoint you via check to know God now? Right. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. Tell them to give back the money they got from the government. Tell them to give it back. Give it back. Come on now. And you know, the guy that's on there that we just watched talking about raw milk, all kinds of money. He got over $2 million from the government. And he's not online right now still telling people that he got some milk and some other bullshit to help them with uh, the pandemic that's going on right now. And, and this is why this is why the, the bullshit's got to be stopped. And we should interview him. Not, it, huh? Uh, we should interview him. Woo. He won't come you and I should interview him collectively together. My page. That would be beautiful. I would love to get him online. I mean, I mean, their egos are so big. You know, I mean, Nation Islam, their egos are so big, they think they can talk down anyone. Nah, they got me up in the, you know, the, you know how they got like the, you know, when the detectives is really trying to break down some shit, uh -huh. like they tried to catch uh -huh. the, the mob bosses and shit, uh -huh. and then you have like the yeah. pictures of who's linked to who. And right, right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They definitely know that. Man, yeah. I'm at the top. They're like, yeah, don't you ever, I don't care who, that shit like the inter, when they coming in, inter, getting introduced, they, don't you ever find yourself on video talking to Dr. Inky nowhere, goddammit. Because mm. they know I'm going right for the jugular with yeah. questions that are unanswerable. Yeah. And <laughs> like, yo, if Farrakhan is dying from prostate cancer, why are you niggas promoting milk? Facts, facts, facts. There's facts. no way to answer that question. Yeah, right, right. And 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 for those of you who people say, Fred, why? Are, and, and, and you know, you, you probably get this question a lot. Why are you attacking them? They're black. They're this. They're that. Listen, I'm I'm going to simplify this. Very simple. Malcolm X was a black man. Five black men walked into the Autobahn Ballroom associated with Moss Twenty Five, who was, who is, uh, ran by Elijah Muhammad, right? Chicago, they call it, right? Chicago. And when you have selective morality as a human being, you're only going to want to hear one side of the argument. The truth is five Nation of Islam members walked into the Autobahn Ballroom with one mission and one mission only. And that was the murder of Malcolm X. Why? To protect the interests of the Nation of Islam. And we get these teachings over and over and over and over again every time they speak. And you have to tell the whole truth. It wasn't a white man that pulled the trigger. It was a black man. Woo. Ma Elijah Muhammad says he needs Ma Elijah Muhammad. This is a quote. His eyes needs to be closed. So tell the whole truth. I'm not I'm not going to sit on here and and say that Malcolm X was a perfect man. Who is? But when he's when when he's thirsting for ascension, Malcolm X was thirsting for ascension. Elijah Muhammad was thirsting for young ladies and money. There's a big difference. And so when, when, whenever, whenever, when anytime anyone says, well, this person's black, this person's this, we do it for this. Seek the whole truth. You know what I mean? And just to put it in contemporary terms, Nipsey Hussle says everybody can't go. And this is a strong case of Malcolm should be here and Elijah should be gone. If you want to see it from those, if you want to see it from the truth perspective.
And the reason why Elijah Muhammad is a is alive, Elijah. Mu then you gave birth to Farrakhan. Then you gave birth to Wesley Muhammad. And it's just going to keep on going and going and going. And it, it's 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 time for us to to say, what's the truth? And, and, and if they can't give you the truth and, and they want to share those sentiments, they need to be ousted out of our community. It's okay to have empathy for a black man or woman. We all have that in us. I I I 100% believe that. But after the 5th or 6th, 7th, 13th, 17th, 25th time, when is enough enough? They're not going to... Farrakhan has yet to tell the story of him at Mosque 25 and them celebrating when... when um, when they found out at about 315, 320 that Malcolm X was assassinated, murdered, excuse me, was murdered. They celebrated at Mosque 25. These are first person accounts. Coincidentally, Farrakhan was teaching or preaching at Mosque 25 on February 21st, 1965. These are all truths. Nothing I say can be refuted. So it's time for us to tell the whole truth. And Minister Farrakhan won't do interviews with people that will ask him questions like this. You understand? It's just impossible. He's going to go to the grave with these stories. With And, and, and you know why he did it? For self-preservation and monetary gains. Yeah, he said some great things over the years. But I will always go back to who's feeding you. He knows the man that's feeding him can also starve him. And because of his desires, his selfish desires, the nation of Islam have yet to create a nation. So you mean to tell me you're selling newspapers and bean pies in the 50s and 60s and you're still just doing that as your main source of income? Put in perspective. Can a man that's selling bean pies and newspapers really be a homeowner? If he's out there every day, can he truly be a homeowner? Can he really uh, successfully start a business? Can he go to a bank and get a loan? It cripples you when you think about it long term. I live close to Crenshaw Boulevard here in Los Angeles. I see them all the time, every day. How are you going to prove to a bank that you're making $300 a day selling bean pies and newspapers? If you're making, I don't know what you're making. How are you going to prove it? But Farrakhan can prove that he's getting four hundred thousand dollars a year, and he got millions trying to trying to find find a cure for AIDS. <laughs> Man, he's an ally of the government, and every minister of the nation of Islam that goes into these these prisons with an expectation of being financially compensated is an ally of the government. It's really that simple. It's not by accident Malcolm X died broke. It's not by accident. Don't you think if the people knew that Malcolm X was broke, they would have funded him for the most part? He wasn't really being compensated by the uh, by the Nation of Islam. What, $1,000 a month and a car and a home? That was ultimately taken from him. So I, I, I just urge people to seek the whole truth. You know, I mean, it's like when your son come home, uh, Michael hit me <laughs> and you get all hot and you get all hot and frustrated because someone hit your hit your seven year old son. But your son didn't tell you he threw sand in Michael's and, and Malcolm and Michael's face.
So search for the truth, y'all. Search for the truth. And I think that will ultimately free us. And, and, and uh, I appreciate you, Doc. Thank you, man, because Wesley Muhammad has just been spewing this shit for far too long, man. And uh, it's been unchallenged, non-challenged. And it's time that every time he speaks on something, I think we need to. Yes. I think we need to respond to him. Yeah. We need to be like the the Republicans response to the State of the Union's address 2021. Every time he speaks, we need to respond to him. Because I'm tired of him. I'm tired of him. I'm tired of him. he called Michael Mex a queer. That's a white liberal narrative, man. Yeah, queer is not even language we use. Like what yeah. do you <laughs> Yeah. Like that, that's how far white liberals have infiltrated us, man. Girl, look, look, wait, wait, wait. Now, now you just added the other piece. Yeah. Remember earlier, I said the ghost writing. See, you provided the evidence for the ghost writing. Right. That's smoking gun right there. Right. That doesn't come from our nomen. That's not our nomenclature. Mm -hmm. That right there is clear ghost writing. We don't use right. that kind of language. We would have said he's a <laughs> or a you know, oh no, you know what I mean? We you know, you know the words we use. Yep. So, so you know what I mean? So and if we were trying to be respectful about it, we would have just said alternative lifestyle or bisexual, one of those types of things, but we don't use queer. That's not in our language. That's not in our right. um frequently used words uh uh, uh list <laughs> at all. Right, right. Right. If if I'm I'm just gonna put it in simple terms, man. If Michael Max was a queer, he was he was followed by the government for 15 years. 15 years he was followed by the government. Every phone call, every travel reservation, where he got his money, every letter. And he also went to jail. So you got to take into account Malcolm did seven years from 1952 to 19 from 1946 to 1965. He was either in prison or being monitored by the government, by the FBI. So for night, he went to jail in 46, right? And got out in August of 52, if I'm not mistaken. So, so with that being said, There's no stories in that about him being gay or him being queer. Or... But it just so happened that they find stories when he's murdered. About, man, these are white liberal narratives, man. And it's disgusting. And I think it's time that they get pushback. You know, it, it's, man, it's, it's, it's. I mean, look what they're doing with Tupac today, man. Th don't you know Tupac got some 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 G A Y P R I D merchandise? Did you see that? Yeah, I'll, I'll send it I to heard, you. Man. I heard, but and you know what? When when it came to me, I didn't know. There are things that people tell me that sometimes I don't know if I should discuss mm. because I'd be in a weird space. I'd be like, yo. If I go in on it, then people will be alerted to the fact that, like, am I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, ah, it, mm -hmm. it is crazy though. But, but in this conversation, it needs to be highlighted because people need to understand what can happen with your legacy after you die. Right. This is the whole reason why I had to go absolute a wall and take over the whole CMOS uh, shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can champion that for sure, man. I'm, I'm like, wait a minute. Niggas have gotten so crazy that they're now cutting sea moss with fake sea moss. I said, okay. All right, guys. They stepping on sea moss. <laughs> they stepping on sea. I said, bro, now is the you know, you know, when Apollo Creed was in the ring and he was like, don't throw in the towel. I god damn it, I'm throwing in the towel now. We got to stop this shit here. At this point, right here is where the fight has to stop. And I have to step in with some clarity. This is this is getting crazy right now. And everything is on his name. Mm -hmm. Everything is Dr. Sabi approved CMOS. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, nah, that ain't it, man. That ain't it. And then even I had to get at some some Bowmans, you know what I mean? It was out there looking crazy, you know what I'm saying? So 
you know, but shout out to Victor, like I said, because he came through and co-signed. He even gave me some, like, hold on now. This is what you need to do for the Bowmans because they they the worst offenders against Dr. Sabi's legacy. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's rough when you create, you spend your blood, your sweat, your tears, you put your life into something. And then the moment you're gone, the moment, the moment you're gone, all your ops step right in zoop, and start rewriting your narrative. Instantly, rewriting your narrative. Dog. Instantly. And, and let me say this to y'all. Love. Love is not idly standing by while that happens. So all of you fake suckers out there. Oh, I was with Sabi. I went to Sabi Honduras. I sent Sabi out to, to Sabi, Sabi, Sabi. I don't see you niggas on the front line where niggas is destroying Sabi's legacy. I don't see these niggas. You know what I'm saying? So that's not love. Whatever the hell y'all call that thing that y'all doing. Don't love me that way after I'm gone. Please don't. I need just a few niggas to love me enough to say, hold up, that Inky wouldn't co-sign that shit. Like, that's not Inky's philosophy right there. I need niggas to love me like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the Bronx way. Like, hold on, that's not, no, we don't do that. That's goofy nigga shit. That's that's goofy shit. We don't condone it. God damn it, we're putting out a public <laughs> announcement from here going forth. Goofy shit has been curtailed. No more goofy shit. <laughs> <laughs> We got to do it. We got to do it. And look at this. Man, look at this. So. Every this, this guy right here. This is another Sabi guardian right here. This is a guardian of the Sabi grill right here. If you say his name, Sabi's name, I will pop up, and this guy will pop up. <laughs> oh my God, Mr. G in the building. And the crazy thing about Mister G is you don't even know where on earth he is right now. Mm. <laughs> Mr. G might be hitting us from South America, across the street in Compton, uh, Flatbush in Brooklyn. We don't know where the fuck Mr. G is. Shout out to Mr. G, though. You know thank God for him. Yeah, thank God for him. Come on now. Blessings to a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, we got to make sure that we secure these legacies after our right. folks check out, man. We got to love them the right way. You got to love right. them, protect their shit. Absolutely right. I'm with all that. I'm with all of that, 100. percent And 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 thank God, thank God, we got us, you know. So, CMB, you know, we all we got. We all we got, you know. What I mean, this motherfucker is, is Nino Muhammad, you know. What I mean, on a sidebar, yes, please. On a sidebar, winding down, I do have a question outside of this though that I couldn't wait. I was like, wait, wait till we get finished with this. I gotta, I gotta hit Fred with this box yes, of please. pure fuckery that's going on right now. Uh-huh. So last night, I'm on the phone with a friend. Uh-huh. Friend is telling me that her children is going crazy watching some boxing matches. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, hmm, that's crazy because I don't know about any boxing matches that's going on last night. Oh, yeah, you talking about Shakur. So I'm like, wait a minute, what's going on with these boxing matches? So I get the age of her children. You know, I got a variety. So I call in my babies. I'm like, hey, what's this boxing match thing that's going on right now? Oh, yeah, everybody's watching it, Dad. I'm like, wait a minute. Everybody's watching this shit. When did this shit start going on? So I got to go to the boxing aficionado. Mm -hmm. How far is this YouTube personality boxing thing going? Last night, it was YouTube versus TikTok personalities. And if no adults are taking this serious, it doesn't matter. Right. They're getting millions of views from the babies. The babies are watching these niggas fight. So what is happening, Fred, with this, this thing? Or, or are you just getting hip too? Like, what is going on with this? Well, it's a way to make money now. So uh, if you got a large following and stuff, because you got to keep in mind, networks... People think networks are in the shows, in the sports. No, networks is in the ratings business. And when you have things that's going to do great ratings, they're going to put it on. So now we got this this uh, this this market that's that's uh, growing, and the interest is 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 peaking and growing. It, I mean. Foy Mayweather validated it. You know, Foy Mayweather gave it its stamp of approval last weekend with Logan Paul and him. So now we can expect that um, more people will attempt to do it. Uh, will it succeed? 
it's all contingent upon will boxers give us the best fights available if not we just want to be entertained at this point and since they are more popular we're going to know that they're fighting more so than a real fighter's fighting so do you see cuz i kind of walked some of that out in my mind like trying to figure out where this was going mhm I feel yeah. like correction. I feel like this will bubble until correction. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But you also take into mind Showtime gave uh, Jake Paul a multi-fight deal. So, <laughs> so uh, in addition to Floyd Mayweather, Showtime stamped its approval, too, by giving a YouTuber a, a multi-fight contract. So... Somebody might get hurt, though, man. You know? Oh, yeah. Someone's going to get hurt eventually. Yeah. I mean, that's the law of averages, you know, and um, that's just it, man. That's the law of averages. So it's, it a, lot of, happen. it's a lot of it's a lot of neck. It's a lot of neck and, and, and side and back of the head. I yeah. watched it for about I watched for about seven, eight, maybe 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I, and I seen I seen I seen wild street fighting with gloves on. Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying with with some some stance you know there's some stance there juxtaposition people want to look good but you know when you get hit see that's when boxing kicks in boxing doesn't kick in when you get in the ring in case y'all don't know boxing is what happens after you get punched in the face a few times because if you don't have that muscle memory deep training when you get hit a few times all of your plans and shit that goes out you got you're not oh when he throws this i'm a duck and weave to the that's that's not how that when you get hit a few times, now you when you hurt, you gotta you gotta go to the training. The, the shit that you done did a thousand, right. thousand, twenty thousand times over and over and over. You're right. If you don't have that and you get hit or hurt or caught by surprise, you just do something wild and crazy, and you like, you know, it, I, I don't know, man. I, I just, you know, it's it looks crazy. It looks like it's potentially, you know. And then, it, and then my, my my children told me that sometimes the ref be in the mix. Though. So it's it's almost like a <laughs> little WWF. Uh, w, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, they go. Oh, they gonna find a way to uh, to upstage. You know. Oh, we we can do this next time. We can do that next time. Maybe like this. You know. It's all entertainment. So what happens to the bag for the for the the pure and the true? That's that's what I'm really kind of. That you, always we wins. Got Devin Haney, we got uh Tank. You know, we got a lot of um Ryan, you know what I'm saying? We got a lot yeah. of guys. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's always gonna win. It's just gonna go in a low and high tides, you know. Uh okay. it, it's never going anywhere. Okay. I don't believe because everyone will always go back to the core. Okay. So but I felt like that was as goofy as oh, as oh, yeah, for, this, I yeah, thought yeah. The damn there was a nation of Islam sponsored program. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh no <laughs> in association with Wesley Muhammad. <laughs> right. Let's get these children. Let's get these children. Cause when you do that with the Instagrams and mm -hmm. super, you know, the social media celebrities, like mm -hmm. how long is it until the children are in their backyard at 10, 11 years old doing backyard brawls? You know what I'm saying? Off off what they see from social media, they're gonna start doing their own joints. Mm -hmm. And then and then you know it just it gets crazier and crazier. Oh yeah, it does. Oh, oh, it does. It, it, it's like social media. Hey, let's do something crazier. Uh let's go out to people and say, I fucked your dick, I fucked your girl long dick style. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, come on, man. Tyrone ain't that ain't real, man. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? At the end of the day, man, Shit. it all goes back. So, but yeah, this was fun, man. Yeah, this was man. Fun. we got to do it again. Anytime you hear him speak, send it to me, dog. Anytime yeah. you hear this man spewing, man, man we going to respond to him immediately. And, and we need to. That was the perfect thing you said. We got to set up the counter Wesley Muhammad information. You facts, 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 facts. Soon as he step out the there, yeah. Soon as he step out there and start talking crazy, we got to get him. 
Mm -hmm. you know, clean it right on up until they turn his damn mic off. Mute his mic, man. I just, I, you know, what's the biggest question? Maybe you got some insight into this. Yeah. Why haven't they propped up Nuri Muhammad yet? I thought that Nuri Muhammad was the, when I see Nuri, I heard, shout out to my guy Gorilla out there in L.A. Um, I was out there in L.A. with my guy Gorilla, and um, he was like a super Nuri Muhammad fan. Mm -hmm. And when he started mentioning Nuri Muhammad to me immediately, you know, some of this shit creeps into my mind. I'm like, eh, let's stick with the Drake right now. I, yeah, I want to listen to Drake. I don't want to hear that other bullshit from him. Mm -hmm. He's like, nah, nigga, you in my car. You got to listen to this. Bam. And he put it in, and Nuri Muhammad was going the fuck in. Yeah, Nuri He's Muhammad. Super refreshing. I was like, why yeah, is Nuri this the face of the nation? Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Nuri Muhammad, I've heard him speak. I I, I definitely I'll listen to him. He's also lied. On, he's also said a few lies, too. And we've had some DMs that... that he told me to take something down. I said, fuck you. I ain't taking shit down. You know what I mean? They try and use that fear tactic. God going to get you. You know what I mean? Who cares? Man, come on. Cut it out, man. Cut it out, man. This ain't the 60s, man. Niggas ain't by. God's going to get you? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. He said some bullshit, man. You know what I mean? For something okay. that I posted, he lied and, hmm. and, and said that the killers, the shooters, what nation of Islam members or something like that. And I'm like, no, they were. Aww. They were. Aww. And, and, Nuri. So, Aww. And, and so I so I went after him Nuri on it. And, baby and we Nuri there. still believe in fairy tales. Aww. You know what I mean? So I still think he would be a better representative though than Wesley. I think anything beats Wesley, man. Wesley has to move out the way. Or just shut the nation of Islam down already. God damn it. Let's just pack that shit up. Well, I mean, when when Louis Farrakhan dies, they're going to faction off, and it's going to be this group and that group and this group and that. Uh, Same thing they did in '75. You know, when his son went with uh, Orthodox Muslim, and then Farrakhan comes up, and you had other factions of, you know, people got to because you got to take it on. People are getting paid. You know, that's how people are living. That's how people are existing. You know, they're not doing this for free. You know, so they got to get paid and, and, and they want to live in Chicago. You know, they want that house and they want that big house, that big mansion in Chicago. You know what I mean? You know, and wait till I mean, th th there's a whole lot of stuff that, that hasn't been said, man. You know, so we'll we'll. It's going to happen. Yeah, some 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 somebody said. It's better to imitate boxing than little Dirk and them out in the streets. I, I guess you a thousand percent right with that. You it's better to right. imitate, the, yeah, facts. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So, um, <sighs> Wesley, Wesley, Wesley. Oh, thine bullshit has caught up to thou. Thine mm -hmm. <laughs> comes from the royalist line of con connoisseurs there is imaginable and we have had enough of your fuckery sir yeah facts it's time it's time man you got to stop this shit wesley facts and and just for the record i would prefer the folks out there Drinking fake sea moss and activating their chakras than listening to Wesley Muhammad. If if we've got to have a comparison, <laughs> <laughs> yo, that Wesley shit is dangerous, man. It's dangerous. You didn't see them nowhere. You know what's crazy? You didn't see them nowhere during the whole 2020. I said, now this was a perfect opportunity for the Nation of Islam to show that they still a viable organization. They really love the people, and they. Man, why aren't they on the front line? Where are you guys? I thought the whole motto of them was frontliners. You know, where's the fruit at? I mean, shit. 2020, oh, pandemic, oh, people oh, dying. It's oh, pain oh, in the street. People oh, fired, oh, they ain't got no jobs. Where's the nation? Only if you're popular. Mm, mm, mm. Michael Jackson and Nipsey Hussle. 
Insane. You know, only if you're popular, man. And you know, and 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 and, and, and then I'll I'll end on this point. Yeah, people say, well, they've uh, uh, helped out a lot of men in the community. So has every other religion when you put it in perspective. You know what I mean? So has Christianity. You know what I mean? You go to a church and says, I'm saved. I've been baptized. You know, I, I, I'm no longer this. I'm no longer that. They're the same testimonies that you have in the nation of Islam is the same testimonies you'll get from Seven Day of Venice. Uh, Christians, Catholics, Jehovah Witness, they all say, man, we, we've saved your life. So when you put that, when you put that story in perspective, tit for tat, you understand? So, so, so don't fall into the narrative, man. Fall in love with the truth. You, you know what I mean? So in, in, in America, the people saved through Christianity far outweighs the nation of Islam. You know, and, and I'm not saying Christianity is better, but when you got to put it in perspective, put that conversation in perspective or that narrative in perspective when they say, oh, they save all these black men that get out of jail. Well, there's more Bibles than Korans in jails. <laughs> so come on, man. Make it make sense, man. So and the nation of Islam is getting paid to go into these. I was about to say, now we know how they doing it because they're getting mm -hmm. funded. Yeah, getting funded by the government. So now, mm -hmm. even that respect that we still had on their name, we have to yep. take off mm -hmm. of yep. their name because yep. now, if we look around at almost any group that we got, if they were funded to the tune of two, three, four, ten million, mm -hmm. oh, they'd be able to get a few niggas cleaned up too. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So now we got to go. This is not a grassroots thing where they're. You know, they're using the newspaper and bean pie money to reformat the face of the community and turning junkies. Up. These are all of the things that those of us that were seeing the cracks, those of us that sort of crumbling even, were still holding dear. Right. Like, yeah, they doing these things, but they're still in the communities. They're still working. They're still doing these things. They still have these things going on. Right. We don't know that the reason they have those things going on is because those are all fronts so they can keep getting these bags and running this woo -woo -woo. <laughs> makes no sense man it, 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 it makes no sense man where's all the acres man <laughs> where's the nation at, where's hey, the the nation acres, at? They, look they got some acres the acres got cows on it so they can't show them acres <laughs> them cows, yeah, they, and not, man, only them, drink them, some milk. not only do them acres got cows on it Guess what's running around next to them damn cows on the makers? <laughs> yeah, it's some pigs running around on the farms too. God damn it! <laughs> oh shit! Elijah Muhammad didn't like pigs. I know that's for sure. Oh my goodness, they looking crazy out there. Yeah, he didn't like pigs at they all. They looking crazy out there. Listen, and, I, and, and, and the pigs is sending them for what? The government. <laughs> listen, listen, I used to I used to live in Philly and. They it, they be with the jalabia on with the pork with the with they, ah, it's crazy right now, man. I've seen so many Nation of Islam members eat eat what they're not supposed to eat, man. And and, and I'm not here to 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 even make that because but wait wait look, look wait wait say that again, Fred. You're not here to do what? Oh, I, I'm not here to even like that. That's so minuscule in terms of but and but the bigger picture is is self serving. You know, I mean, these men are self-serving, man. How about how they, uh, how about how they minimize the women in their religion? Mm. Forget about it. You, he, why you can't sit next to your husband? Forget why can't you sit next to your husband? Mm. <laughs> God, didn't God, didn't God, uh, Say that you guys are one, you know what I mean. But when you go into God's house, you can't sit next to your God. Come on, man. I mean, this is all. It's it, it, it's all. Uh, come on, man. Just man. When you go to the root of, when you go to the core of things, it's uh, it's very eye opening. 
It's very eye opening when you go to the core of things. You know, W.D. Farad is a white man from New Zealand. They said he's from Mecca. Or, man, come on, man, cut this, so cut the shit, man. Allah shit, man. That was that was the whole problem. And then they then they ref then they then they put that that uh then they put some makeup and polish and some spit shine on on Father Allah Legacy. Mm. A lot of people, because I was talking about it, and because Dr. Sabi, you know, I, I did a whole video on Father Law and Dr. Sabi and the piece with the magnetic. And, but the crazy thing is they put a little spit shine on Father Law legacy, because now when you look it up, it says that he has some disagreements about. Um, damn, I forgot what it. I should have wrote. I should have clipped it and downloaded it or whatever, but. Father Law's major disagreement was what you're saying right now. Like, hold on. You guys are saying the black man is God, but that guy on that picture right there. So, yeah. It's a very unique, it's a very unique situation that we yeah, find I mean, as black people today. Yeah. And and Jesus is white too. Like there's here's what I believe happened. W. D. Farad was in Detroit, right? And he saw how successful I forget that fa that famous pastor then Father Divine, right? Is that his name? Yeah, Father Divine. He was he was so popular, but he used the Bible. I think W. D. Farad says I can do the same thing with the Quran that they do with the Bible. And guess what? I'm not the blackest of the black men. So let me get this this drunk, unassuming man named Elijah Poole. And he wasn't going anywhere as, as in accordance to Clara Muhammad's uh, uh, father. He she thought he had no future. You understand what I'm saying? Um, he's not going. He doesn't have a job. So let me use him to be the face of this. And I'm going to disappear in three and a half years. And you're going to call me God. My name ain't in the Quran. But I'm God. So that means if you're all knowing. Why did you spend years. In Alcatraz. Why were you selling silks. Going knocking on doors selling silks. Some tough questions. <laughs> tough questions. See, when you get to the root of things, th then you'll see the, the immoral approach, you understand? And, and when you get young men who are in search of help, who are in search of the truth, like many men who join any religious organization, they're in search of the truth. They're in, they're in search of their higher self. And Malcolm X was one of them. You know, Khalid Muhammad was another one. They're in search of their higher self. And... There's no apex to your higher self. There was an apex to Elijah Muhammad. And we now see today there's an apex to Louis Farrakhan because I don't see no acres. Mm. You can't live in a mansion and not have thousands of acres. Woo. Talk that shit. So you got to make it make sense, man. Get to the root. Whenever you have questions, go to the root of it, man. Don't take him. Be, don't take his word for it because don't because he's black or because he's Mexican or because he's the pastor of the church or because he's Wesley Muhammad, Wesley Lyon Muhammad. You know, what I mean, uh, and, and the fact that people were going to look at that title and 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 thumb it down without listening to this entire video. Nothing I say today, with the exception of what I believe when I say I believe. Those two things when I said about the Bible versus the Quran and the JFK thing, outside of everything that I've said is is factual and can be substantiated with primary documents. So, you know, that's uh, that, that's where we're at with this, man. And uh, this was fun, man. And, and, and I got a short film coming out called Nine Wives, man. I got a short film coming out, Nine Wives. It should be out in July. It's going to be fun. We're going to rock out. It's a, it's a, it's a in your face. Oh, this shit going to be in your face. I so can't now, wait. wait. 
Let's yeah. get into Nine Wives. Exactly what is Nine Wives tapping? Well, in? Nine Wives is um, it's uh, it's the last day. Oh, put me on screen with you, man. I want to see your reaction, man. I want to see your reaction. <laughs> want to see your reaction. It's uh, it's uh, it's Elijah Muhammad dies February twenty fourth, nineteen seventy five, or not? No. February 25th, 1975. The the movie is February 24th, 1975, the last day of his life. And one of his wives goes and visits him at Mercy Hospital in Chicago. And you got to wait till the dialogue hits. Wait till the dialogue hits. Wait till the dialogue. You already knew what my response was going to be. It's just going to be fucking insane. If y'all thought, wait, y'all be listening to Wesley. The mischief, back into mischief. Listen, Fred is tapping into his Bronx bloodline. <laughs> this is what's happening right now? Yes, it's gonna, yes, be, yes. It's gonna be pure fucking chaos when that video comes out. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is, and I want everyone to share it on the Instagram. I'm giving this video. I'm giving this movie. It's a short film. It's gonna be five to ten minutes. I'm giving this video to the world. I'm spending thousands of dollars producing this film, and I'm giving it to the world. Mm. You know what I mean? You paying how much money? Thousands of dollars. Meanwhile, the Nation of Islam is mad. They're being censored. This Meanwhile, the Nation of Islam is mad at Netflix for not releasing a Louis Farrakhan documentary. How about you release it on your own? How about you? How about you? You say you're a nation. How about you build your own network? And you don't have to worry about censorship. Yeah. Because <laughs> see, what's happening is they presenting themselves as whores for checks. Oh, so man. here's a check. Boop. But guess what happens when you get a check? Now I own this. Yep. So calm down. If I don't want to play your fucking video, I'm not playing your video. And I'm not giving you your video back so you can play it. You got to <laughs> check. You wanted to check. You got to check. Now the video is on ice. It's called shelved. Mm -hmm. Now they mad. They shit shelved over there at Netflix. Mm -hmm. Netflix is waiting for the next big black thing to happen. And then right. they'll pull that out. That's what they got that in the stash for. Right. Some black thing happens, they'll pull that out. Or Farrakhan right. dies, they'll pull. Oh that yeah, out. oh yeah, oh yeah. For they're sure. not getting ready to just throw that out because they want them to throw that out. Nah, and they're they gonna edit it too. Sold. And they're gonna edit it to their likings. That's right. That's what happens when you sell your stuff. Mm -hmm. Now people get to do what they want to do with it, and this is the origin of really where it's selling out. Is you sold out. Now it's okay. Mm -hmm. Now you don't have control. Now it's over. Mm -hmm. The next time we see that, it's going to look like how, you know, Netflix wanted it to look. Or it'll be timed, and the narrative may be different than what you guys might have put, you know, what your original purpose was. Yeah. Well, Farrakhan told on the Nation of Islam, he says, I need to find 10,000 men. Why are you searching for 10,000 men? You're, you're the head of a nation. You're the head of a nation. Why are you? That means you don't have 10,000 men in your network. Wait a minute. Clearly, Farrakhan got less followers than me. <laughs> I, yo, bro, I got 30,000. Oh, sure, I got 30,000 sure. on YouTube. For sure. For sure. He got less. For sure. He doesn't have that. You know what I mean? And um, but um, but yeah, man, that's where we're at with this, man. This was fun, man. This was fun, man.